This is a uh, $10,000 and this is Zillow. I'm gonna cold call sellers and see if they'll take $10,000 for their house. Let's do for sale by owner homes, meaning we're gonna call the seller directly, not a realtor. I think realtors would laugh at us if we offer $10,000. Okay, let's drop the price to $10,000 and see what we got. Okay, that's not a house. That is also not a house. Oh, I know the problem now, that's land. Okay, let's take out land. Let's just look at homes. I want a house, okay. All right, everyone, there's a little bit of a problem. There is not a single house in all of America that is for sale for less than $10,000. But that doesn't deter me. I'm gonna see if maybe I can lowball them. 20,000. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's call this person up and see if we can hit them with a $10,000 offer. Hey, it's cash money. This house is in beautiful Eastland, Texas. Where... Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Okay, starting off strong. There's only three houses in Texas for under 20,000. We're gonna call all three. Okay, a two bedroom, one bathroom house in San Juan, Texas. House only to be moved. I don't know, I'll move it to my backyard. Give it to my dog, he'll have a nice dog house. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. People just don't want $10,000 today, I guess. All right, so the last house in Texas is actually just a lot. So we need to get out of Texas. Okay, let's try Arkansas. There's a house right here in Augusta and they had a price increase. Boy, how are you raising the prices? You raised the price like 70%. There's like a whole, in what? Handyman special. Nah, nah, I'm thinking a $10,000 special. Hello, thank you for calling Property Source. We're sorry we can Man, no one wants to answer today. This house is actually $8,000. <laughs> it doesn't look terrible. I mean, I could spend the night in there and not die. $8,000. Google Fi wireless subscriber. Oh my God, no one wants to answer. Okay, people are not answering in Arkansas. Let's jump over to an even cheaper state. The cheapest state in the entire country, Los Angeles and California. I'm kidding. I did not think there would actually be anything here. Wow, this is beautiful land and it can be yours for only 15,000. Look, look how beautiful the grass is out here. <laughs> okay, so this property is only $1 in Bakersfield. I could buy 10,000 of these. Okay, so this home in Oklahoma actually caught fire. Well, damn. Damn. Forward it to voicemail. The person you're trying Oh my god. Oh my god. Why did anyone answer? I will not give up. Someone's gonna answer today. I don't know what's going on. This is insane. Seven, one, nine, three. This home's 25 grand, but let's see if we can talk him down to 10. I'm getting I'm getting desperate here. I'm getting so desperate. Please someone answer. Hello. Hi, my name is Max. I saw your property on Zillow. Yes. Uh, hi, how are you today? I'm a real estate investor. I just wanted to reach out about your uh property. Okay, how can I help? Sure. Yeah. So I didn't see any pictures of the interior. I just want to get an idea of what like the rehab would be based off of, you know, estimates. Is the uh, plumbing and the electrical all still good? They are not um, operable right now, but uh, I wouldn't even say it's good. It needs rewire and testing and everything in the past. Sure. And all that. Yeah. So it's a whole, you know, job. So did you buy it to fix it up? What's the reason asking that question? Are you interested to purchase it? Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm interested in purchasing it. Just, you know, based off of, again, I didn't see the, somebody answered. She wasn't the nicest lady. Seemed a little sketchy. You know what the problem was, guys? I let in being too friendly. I'm just too nice of a guy. I got to go and be like, hey, this house, it's awful. It's ugly. The best I can do is $10,000 cash. Would you take it? Okay, our strategy's not working here. We called dozens and dozens and dozens of properties and nobody will take $10,000 cash for their home. But I have a secret weapon and it's called leverage. I'm gonna look for more expensive homes, homes up to 50, 60, 70, $80,000. And I'm gonna try to do subject to or seller financing. Hey seller, if I give you $10,000 cash, could I give you that cash and then also take over your mortgage payments? So if it's like a $70,000 house, maybe I can take over their $60,000 mortgage and then give them $10,000 cash. Or if they don't have a mortgage, because some of these people don't have a mortgage, right? I could be like, hey man, can I give you $10,000 now and the other 60, 70, 80, 90,000, can I just pay off over time with a little bit of interest? Those are two strategies that I use in my everyday life as a real estate investor and I'm gonna try it here on Zillow. So we got $10,000 cash and I'm gonna see if I can leverage that money to buy an even more expensive house. I live here in Dallas, so let's start in Dallas and see if we have any luck. Hello, you've reached Valerie with American Solutions for Business. I will not give up until somebody answers. This house looks nice. It looks like they're in the middle of fixing it up. Nice little remodel. Hello? Hey, my name is Max. I'm a real estate investor and I was calling about the property at 8137 Fawn Circle in Granbury. Yes. How are you today? I'm very well. 
Well, awesome. Well, I was interested in seeing if maybe we could talk about the deal. Uh, just a little curious. So is this a, a fix, like a fix and flip or a fixer upper and the, just never got finished inside? No, it was a house that I bought next door. Then uh, I rented it out for a while and then I decided to redo it. Mm. And then I have some some health problems that are going to take oh, me no. about a year, year to get over. So I'm not going to be able to finish it. And I'd rather just, it's at a point now where somebody could get in there and get it done pretty easy. Oh, I gotcha. No, it looks like you're doing great work. It looks beautiful on the outside. So what, so the inside, it's just, it's to the studs. Have you put like new electrical, new plumbing in there? And, it has, uh, it has, it has new plumbing and it has the, the main wires run from outside underground to inside, but it does not have the breaker box or any wiring hooked up yet. Gotcha. Okay. Now I understand, uh, you know, uh, I'm sorry about your health issues. Would this be something where potentially, like I have my own crews or some of my partners have their own crews where maybe we could come in and finish that, uh, the renovations and then sell it. And then we could, you know, all share in the uh, profits that's made. No. Is, is that not... No. Yeah, no, I, I do stuff like that with other people, but I'm not interested in doing that right now. Okay, gotcha. So you just need your cash right now? Yeah. Okay, and this is also not something where maybe we can do a, a, a down payment, maybe let's say $10,000 and then finish the flip and then at the time of sale, you know, give you the rest of the money plus more? I will own or finance the house for 20000 down. 20000 down. Okay, and then what are the terms of the owner financing? I put it on a 10-year note at 10 year, 10%. Okay. Yeah. So you, you know the game very well. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, okay. So you would do 20 grand down 10 year note at 10%. Okay. And then, you know, just based off of your estimates, and I'd have to run my own numbers. How much more money do you think would need to be into this house to get it to a point where it's ready to sell? In between 25 and 30. Okay. So, so yeah, you're almost there. And then what did you say the ARV was? About 125 probably. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So there'd be a little bit of room right there. Okay. All right. Well, I'll speak to my partners and see. And in terms of down payments, it, it seems fair. I understand why you said you wanted 20 grand down. I'm more in the range of, I think, closer to 10 grand down if we have to put that much money into the work. And if you're not, or if you're willing to do some sort of partnership on the deal where our crews would come in so we don't have to close twice. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, well I'll send it over to my partners and maybe I can circle back. I hope you feel better, sir. No, thank you. Well, thank you. Dang it, we were so close. He wants $20,000 down, but we only have 10,000. So for all of you who don't really understand real estate investing too well, and that's okay, hopefully you'll subscribe to this channel and you'll learn more about real estate investing. What the heck just happened there? This is unfortunately a situation where a guy bought a house to fix it up and flip it, but he's facing some health issues. So he's about halfway done, but he can't finish the work. So I offered two things in this situation. I didn't do subject two, right? Because he doesn't have a mortgage on a property. I offered seller financing, but we also tried to do some really fun, magical thing called innovation. These are all creative strategies that I use and that I teach people to do for free on my YouTube channel, where you can get into real estate without a lot of cash or almost no cash. I've gotten deals that required $0 in cash. There's actually some real estate deals where people will pay you to take their home. It's crazy. I know you probably don't believe me, but just try trust me here. And you also don't need credentials or credit. Like you don't need the bank. You could, you don't need a good credit score. You can just go and get these deals. So this guy, he said, Hey, give me 20 grand down and then you can go do the rehab, whatever. And you're just going to be paying me probably like, I don't know, like said 10% interest, so like 5,000 or $6,000 a year. So pretty much he's giving you a mortgage. It's like going to the bank and getting a mortgage. No, you're just getting a mortgage from the seller. It's super cool and you don't need, you could be you could be 18 years old and go do it. But anyways, this deal's probably not the right deal for me. Novation would have been interesting. That's a whole nother strategy for another time. Go watch more videos on my YouTube channel. I'll link it here. But now I'm hyped. I got energy now. We almost got one, guys. Let's keep calling and see if we can get a deal for $10,000. Come on, I wanna buy a house for $10,000 by lunchtime. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. They cut the price 20 grand. They can cut it another 60. <laughs> Please leave your message for nine. Seven. Okay. We're going to keep calling. We're going to get a subject to deal. We're going to get a seller finance deal. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Y'all will be amazed by what amazing real estate deals you can get by just calling. How is this a handyman special? This looks really nice. Oh, they need new floors here. But damn, this thing looks nice. Oh, well, a little bit of a trash bag on the window. It's a nice house. <laughs> Honestly, that's a really nice house for 65 grand. Hey, can you hear me? Hi, this is Max. How are you? I'm 
doing amazing. How are you doing, Matt? I am doing well. I was calling about your listing on Zillow for sale by owner, the house on Helena Street. Are you the homeowner? I'm not the homeowner. I'm actually the dispo manager for Victoria Wholesale Homes. Oh, okay, gotcha. This, so this is a, a wholesale deal and you're dispoing it? Yes, sir, correct. Okay, gotcha. I don't know if they will be open to, but is, are the acquisition guys open, whoever has a deal under contract to do more of creative terms, like a seller financing deal? No, it's not, not going to be an option on this one. Okay, gotcha. Well, thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Sometimes you'll be calling and you'll actually call another wholesaler. So someone like you and me. That's not who we want to talk to, but we, you know, we say, hey, what's up, dude? I love that you're doing business. I'll see you in the next one. Hi, this is Michelle. Can I help you? Hi, my name is Max. I was calling about the property at 505 West 2nd Street in Bishop. I'm a real estate investor. I was just reaching out about the property. Just wanted to know a little bit more about it. Okay. It is, uh, it's, it's a two bedroom, one bath, and it is renter occupied, so okay. it's a cash flowing property. Uh, she pays about 800 a month, and she's been on time for years, so it's a good property if you're looking for something that is already turnkey, cash flowing. Well, very nice. No, that's excellent. Now, are you the homeowner? Or are you the, uh, like a listing agent? Well, I work with the company that owns it. We're a real estate investing company. Okay, gotcha. No, it seems like a, it could be a, a good little rental. Yes, sir. Uh, is your company open to potentially doing terms on something like this, like a seller financing? No, we're we're not doing uh, seller financing. We're looking for um, a cash deal on this. Okay, so you're looking for a cash buyer on this property? Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, well then I'll go run my numbers. What I just needed to know really was what that rent amount was. So that helps me out a lot. Okay, all right. Sounds good. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. You're going to have the most luck calling people who aren't real estate investors, who don't own a real estate investment company, just regular mom and pop people who are like, yeah, I have a mortgage. You want to take that mortgage over? I've been having a hard time paying it. If you just give me some money, you can take over my mortgage payments. Or somebody that actually bought a house like this in West Texas. I was like, hey, I'm just going to give you monthly income every single month for the next 20, 30 years. Then you can pass it on to your kids. And I'm going to buy your house for $0 right now. And I'll pay way more over time. It's like buy now, pay later. And they're like, yeah, that sounds good. No one else wants to buy our house. So if you want to do it, we trust you. Let's do it. It sounds crazy, but it's a, it's an absolute real thing, guys. All of you can be doing this. Just call. And if you get somebody interested and you don't really know what to do from there, send me the deal and I'll help you close it. You can keep the house or you can sell it. Up to you. I'll help you. Honestly, I just find this really fun. <laughs> but maybe I'm weird. Nice red walls. Pretty house. This is 405-94. No answer. We don't give up. We haven't called Kansas yet. Let's give it a shot. Hi, my name is Max. I was calling about the property at 615 Church Street. Yeah, are you local? I am not local. Okay. I'm probably just dealing with local. You know, I'm not looking for a, you know, a, a low ball cash offer or anything like that, so. Okay. No, I'm not in the business of giving low ball cash offers. I'm a realtor out in Dallas. Are you open to potentially like seller financing terms on this property? No. Okay. So even if you got like 10 grand down, then maybe 70, 80, $90,000 over the next few years, that's not something you're looking for? Uh, probably, uh, probably not. I'm looking to sell it. Okay. Yeah, I was just wondering, because I mean, if you're looking more for like passive income and you don't need to cash right now for maybe another property, it, it could be a good option. Yeah, I can yeah, present like, you terms. Yeah, I mean, if we could maybe do something like ten grand down, and then the the other seventy, eighty, ninety, just in the monthly checks, it, it could be you know you could be interested in it. It helps with taxes, so you don't have to pay those taxes off right now, and you just get a few hundred dollars a month. I that's actually how I sell most of my properties. So yeah, but what what guarantee and what's uh what's the other things involved in there? Uh yeah, so I mean, what so you would have a lien on the property, just like a bank, right? It's like, hey, what does a bank have when they guarantee a property with a mortgage? Pretty much, you're going to be upgraded from landlord to bank, and you would have a lien on the property, and I would obviously turn this into a rental, and with the money I get from rents, I'm just paying you the bank. Yeah, and then if obviously if. I'm abducted by aliens and I stop making payments, then you would just get the house back because you would you would be the bank and you'd have a lien on it. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I only I only buy homes and sell homes with seller financing. I'm at the point now where I've, I own too many properties for banks to want to lend. So uh, we just do seller financing. Just makes yeah. no sense. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm I'm uh, I'm collecting the rent every month now, and yeah. things are going pretty pretty good. So. So what's the reason you're selling then? Uh, I was just maybe going to downsize a little bit. 
Uh, but do, but you mean that if you're collecting the rent, do you just don't want to deal with the tenants and the toilets anymore? Uh, well, right. Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. So exactly, that's the beauty of this is you can pretty much still get passive income without having to deal with tenants, without having to deal with fixing yeah. things up. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, be interested in uh, offers, etc. But uh, you know, I'm not real motivated for a for a low down or anything like that. So. Okay, well then give me a little bit of idea of what you're looking for and I'll shoot you yeah, over an LOI. Uh, then thing. you can just check yeah, out see if it's the right fit for you. In terms of price, one thing I love about this is I can usually come up to the seller's price. So I'm not gonna be that yeah. guy who lowballs you on price. So if I'm able to meet yeah. you on your 60 grand price, I'm able to pay all the agent commissions, I'll pay all the closing costs, I'll buy the home as is. Where would you need to be in terms of maybe just like monthly payments, just cash flow. It's just pure profit. Just thinking, probably. Uh, I don't know what I'm getting now. Probably like four fifty. Okay. What are you getting for rent, by the way? Six forty-five, six seventy-five. Okay, so so you're getting six seventy-five, then you're obviously paying taxes, insurance, and some maintenance. You don't have a mortgage on the property, do you? No. Okay, gotcha. Uh, then yeah, I can I can run some numbers now. Obviously, you know, if if we did the house this way. Uh, I'd be paying taxes, I'd be paying insurance, I'd be paying all the maintenance, all the expenditures, and all you'd be getting is just a check uh, for coming on. And now in terms of down payment, is there a certain amount of money you need right now? Yeah, I should know less than 20%. Okay, so you're looking at about 12,000, so. Uh, okay, so, okay, so close to 10. Okay, gotcha. And then does the property need any work inside or is it ready to go? No, I mean, it's, it's ready to go. It's red right now. Okay, gotcha. Um, well, hey, this is my direct line. I'll shoot you over my company information, and I'll just send you over some numbers, and maybe we can work out a deal. Yeah. Okay. Hey, if you have any questions or anything you need, you just reach out to me. Yeah, very good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Oh, bye. Bye. Mother let's go! Let's call the day. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This man here is open to seller financing. I started this call. He didn't want to do seller financing. He wanted a cash offer. Let's go. Let's go. So he said 20% down. What's 20% of 60? 12. Does that sound like 10? It sounds like 10 to me. So I would write him an offer that's like, hey, man, I'll give you $10,000 now. The other 50,000, I'll pay over time. I'll give you some interest. That's why I kept saying 60, 70, 80,000 because I can just say, hey, I'll buy your house for 75 or 80 grand over the next 20 years or 30 years. You give him a few hundred dollars a month and you own the house and then you rent it and then you can make a profit. So if he's getting 600 something dollars in rent then you have to pay taxes, insurance, then you also have to pay for maintenance and things that go wrong. And then you have to pay him. And if you end up making a little bit of money, well then you're making money and you're paying off a house and you get all these other benefits like depreciation and interest write-offs. So pretty much I could buy a house right now with this money in my hand and nothing else. I don't need credit. I don't need credentials. I don't need to go to a bank. I can just go and take this house right now. This is why I love seller finance. Guys, if you aren't doing seller financing, you're missing out. This is the easiest way to buy homes is doing seller financing and subject to. You could literally be buying a house a week. You just gotta get on the phones and start calling and first just understanding this stuff. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna send an LOI out on this deal. Now, just between us, I don't know if it's gonna work for one reason and one reason only. I think he wants too much money every single month. So I need to get in there and try to convince him, hey, I know you wanted 450 a month. If we can do maybe 200, 250, I think we could work out a deal. Because at four something, I'm gonna be breaking even, maybe losing a little bit of money. I wanna make a couple hundred dollars a month. So then I'd be getting a free house, a couple hundred dollars a month, and depreciation and interest rate write-offs. So I'm making money. My net worth is going up and my taxes are going down. Victory. And all it took was one hour of calling. All right, guys. Well, if you appreciate this video, it is possible to buy a house with $10,000. I just declared that official. I'm so hyped. I'm so happy that worked out. All right, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.